the transmission mount um, severely dry rotted and cracked in, on inspection, you can see it's actually um, collapsed. That is the original transmission from this car, believe it or not. A little greasy. To rectify the problem, we are going to put in a prothane transmission mount. So hopefully this withstands the heat and the torque of this 455 a little bit better. The car really didn't have any symptoms um, of a bad transmission joint like clunking or the shifter moving around or even popping out of gear. Uh, that's why I didn't notice it until this point. I suppose I should have inspected it. There are the new uh, Super 44 Flowmasters on the back. We're now going to demonstrate a way to actually test the transmission mount. We have a jack positioned under the car, and now my assistant is going to place a block under a rigid part of the pan, and he's going to apply pressure to the back of the pan, an upwards pressure. Let's see what happens with this thing. And you can see there's this complete separation there. The transmission was walking all over the place. Now we're just going to zip out the four mounting bolts. There it is. We'll wipe that up and reinstall the new one in just a minute. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> All right. Here it is on the bench. It actually looks like it lost about half an inch when it collapsed. So installing the new one will correct our dry shaft angle once again. He's going to start by bolting into the transmission. Here we're using the original bolts and lock washers. We're not going to bother with anti-seize, even though it's going to aluminum. There's plenty of oil in those threads. And we're going to hand crank everything here. No need to uh, use the impact on this. Now he's going to install the new studs into the mount, just finger tight. You don't want to double nut those and crank them in because it'll actually uh, puncture the urethane. So you're just going finger tight. Now he's going to lower off the jack. And you can already see that the transmission probably gained about half an inch in height to where it was. And now he's simply going to washer it, lock washer it, and crank the nut down. going to add a little bit on flat washers here. I like to put them in directionally. Um, they're typically stamped so I put the, the smaller edge towards the, the work surface and the larger edge towards the nut. Larger edge is always rounded.
And there you have it, one transmission mount. So our next video is going to be that trans pack on this 140,000 mile transmission. So stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it.